Hillary Clinton was still the first lady. She still lived in Washington, D.C., in the White House. But in November 2000, after 489 days of campaigning in the most expensive Senate race the country had ever seen. Thank you so much for coming by to see me. Yep, I'm really going to move. She defeated Long Island Congressman Rick Blasio to become the 64th and first female senator from New York. Today we voted as Democrats and Republicans. Tomorrow we begin again as New Yorkers. Her Senate record has since been poured over endlessly, but here's a brief history. Clinton introduced only three bills that became law during her time in the Senate. Essentially what we are doing here in an intangible way is restoring trust and confidence. And they all had something to do with naming something after someone, including NBC News fans, a stretch of highway near Buffalo named after Tim Russert. But she did co-sponsor 73 bills that became law, including the Lilly Ledbetter Fair Pay Act which was the first bill President Obama signed into law. This bill is an important step, a simple fix to ensure fundamental fairness for American workers. And I want to thank this remarkable and bipartisan group of legislators who worked so hard to get it passed. And 25 of those co-sponsored bills were led by Republicans. But Clinton's bipartisanship was limited. Though 56 Republican senators did co-sponsor at least one of her bills, only four of her 18 bills that made it to the Senate floor had GOP backing. Clinton voted for the Patriot Act, the war in Afghanistan, and in a move she later said was a mistake, for the invasion of Iraq. I made a mistake, plain and simple. This has to be uh, a struggle that uh, the Iraqi government and the Iraqi people uh, are determined to win for themselves. That vote cost her dearly later in her Senate career, when she launched and ultimately lost her first campaign for president in 2008. Although we weren't able to shatter that highest, hardest glass ceiling this time, thanks to you, it's got about 18 million cracks in it. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.